You guys, those force triads aren't turning on. So is this one. But you can fix it. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a failure coming up next. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. This is a force triad and you can see that I've got it open because moments ago this guy would not turn on. And on the inside you can see I actually have this guy running perfectly fine. Why? Because it's actually a simple failure. It's something that's been going on for years. This guy right back here, your low voltage power supply kicks out the 5 volts which power your CPU boards. This guy has got a problem with thermal expansion because there's no active cooling, there's no fans. And because of that, it gets abnormally hot and over a time of expanding, contracting, there's always one component that fails. So let's take a look at that. This here is the same low voltage power supply pulled from the unit. Now this one here has not been repaired, but since I found the problem on the other board, it's a problem that's been going on for years with these units and I decided to check a unit that has not failed yet just to see what's going on. Now, if you're familiar with power supplies, then you would know that your AC comes in here. Notice that there's a fuse. This right here is your bridge rectifier and then it goes into your DC side, your, your switching and your final output phase with your power filtering. On the bottom, right here, let's see if I can get it. This right here is the bottom of that bridge rectifier assembly. And what you will notice is right here on this pin and this pin, there are some stress joints. I don't know if I can get it correctly in this light. I'm gonna throw up a picture just to show you what's going on. So basically this component here gets very hot and over the course of time, with it expanding and contracting many times, it starts to create a stress ring right at the pin. The stress ring is really bad on this pin and this one here you can notice it a little bit as well. But this ring creates a stress fracture and what happens is eventually it starts losing its contact especially as different components are expanding contracting at different rates and that ring starts to separate and then it starts to arc. And when you start getting the arky spark at the pin, that's when it also pops the fuse. So on this particular unit right here, the fuse will pop, your bridge rectifier, your main pins, that will cause some of your problem. And this one right here, this pin has not been doctored up yet, but it does have a stress fracture that goes around it along with this pin right here. So in order to fix this, what you need to do is you need to take a piece of leaded solder and you need to flow it into these joints right here. And that will create a new alloy which will compensate for that thermal expansion much better. So if your pin has not arky sparked enough where it's damaged, just flow some new solder into those joints and then you put alcohol on top of it once it's cooled down and give it a good scrub with a scrub brush and then change your fuse. Pop it back into the unit and your unit will power back on and you are good to go.